Tonight, some South Bend neighbors are on edge saying they're scared to even walk outside after a weekend shootout that happened Sunday afternoon on Sandy Circle. The Bibb Sheriff's Office says no injuries were reported. Celine Arif went to the neighborhood and shares what people were saying about what they hope changes. Neighbors tell me Sundays are calm and quiet here normally nice close knit neighborhood and normally shootouts don't just happen here, especially in broad daylight. It was like bam, bam, bam. Then right after that, it was a steady flow of, you know, sound like an automatic weapon. Dick Hurd says a car drove by a young man and woman walking together. The woman started firing and the car returned to fire. Up the street, there were kids playing in the yard. Guy right up here just got through walking his dogs 10 seconds before. Neighbors say they found almost 20 shell casings. And thankfully with all those bullets shot, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says no injuries were reported, but one of them did strike this house up in the attic, and the owner tells me her great grandbaby was asleep downstairs. My neighbor, which was going in the opposite direction in her car, she was right there at head, le head level going back the other way when the lady pulled the gun and started shooting. All she had to do was spray in her direction and she would have been dead. To preserve the shell casings and evidence from the crime scene, Chris Barfield says neighbors blocked the street with their own cars until deputies arrived. In the past, neighbors asked for speed cushions and extra patrols to no avail. They know if they come out here, they can do what they want to and it'll take, they'll be in the next county by the time somebody shows up. He says unless the county starts taking their neighborhood crime seriously, this might not be the only shooting this year. And the next one might not spare lives. Reporting in Macon, Celine Air, 13W, MAZ News. The Sheriff's Office says they are investigating. So far, they have not reported any arrests in the case.